Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are discussing about RESTful Lab App Programming Model. In this video, we are going to talk about Delete TML. So basically, Delete TML helps to delete the business object instance data from the database. So what is the syntax for deleting? Basically, we use a modify YAML statements, but with the delete request. So you can see here, this is a modify entities of behavior definition. Here I choose header entity and uh, the request will be the delete. So what is the input we are going to give is purely a key field only. You cannot give any other input. If in case deletes get failed, then we will get notified in the failed and reported. Likewise, if you want to delete the associated related items, then I can mention particular entity with the item keys. So there is no association concepts here. You should know the primary key fields when you want to delete some records. So like update table, we can combine the modify entities statement with header and items. Okay, let's see how delete TML works with an uh, example. So I have a console class here and uh, I have this state header database table. If I check the records, so totally there are three records so i would like to delete the third one which is the, the task name is update name via email okay so i definitely need a this task uid if i want to delete this record correct So let's check the item table as well. So what is the corresponding items? So there are two with update subclass via email. So this uh, two items and one header, the complete instance data I'm going to delete it. So before deleting something, I definitely need to know about its primary keys. I know the primary keys of a header, not a problem. But what about the primary keys of items, which I never know. For that, what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to read instance data which is going to be deleted all right okay where once i read it what i'm going to do is i'm going to call modify email with delete request finally i'm going to do a commit to see the changes in the database level. So this is the three steps I'm going to do. Let's start with the reading. So I have to read entities of so what is the entity is task. Okay. Uh, I can read all the fields or I can read only the key fields okay so in this case I need only the key fields right so fields of only task UID okay so I put this result data Unit task. Before that, 
click value so this is no key field anyway it is going to read only that certain key fields fine i'll do it task by association so here i'm going to read task item uuid because that's a primary key field using the value of task value id okay so show the result in the task item okay looks fine let me format and activate okay fine so i'm going to write a modify statements modify entities or to give you a definition and which entity it's my task i'm going to do a delete from lp underscore task okay then okay entity so it's a task item so okay i'm going to delete from the item that's it then of course i need to check the field and report looks good let me activate this okay it seems we have some error it seems the type is different for the delete request okay even though it has only the key fields it might happen so quickly i will define the first by table for delete task mm -hmm. okay so read of my read is raising an error so what i do is I'll just put task result like this item results okay here item model also we need to define the same thing ld underscore task item then table for delete type table for delete then our behavior definition then our task item so we cannot go via association here right okay um, let me activate this so far good but uh, we have taken a key with key in this two item table results sorry in this two internal table results but uh, we doesn't pass any key fields here so what i have to do is before delete eml request i will pass this key fields there okay okay you can copy like this corresponding of task result then 
task i this only node i this so now no errors but uh, we can simply confirm whether uh, key values from what we read has been passed to here or not okay so i activate this and i make a breakpoint here so executing this okay fine let's check what we are having here okay we have task you ready good other fields here we don't have because we haven't read that so let me execute here you check oh we got one record checking that one record yeah it looks fine and uh, we have the task you ready Checking the item level as well. We have task item UID and task UID. Same for the second record. Here, okay, let me execute this. Yeah, for task ID UID. And uh, here also task already passed directly. Okay, looks good. So maybe we can do it on it. So then it's good to go now make entities fine and I will write the result in potential okay let me activate this Okay. Fine. So this is fine. I'm going to execute. The records are there. Yes, sorry. Yes. Executed. Deletion done. We got a successful message as well. Let's go and uh, verify in the database table. So this is the header level. Refresh this. Oh, it's gone. And item level, this is our people you can uh, refer this as a active subtask also. So let me check it again. It's gone. No entries are there. If we check the all entries, so no subtask name was available here. So yeah, this is how uh, delete TML will work. It really requires uh, key fields. So if you 